Center. Men's 100 meters butterfly S8. Eight competitors will go. Peter Leek from Australia, the world record holder, not here. His fastest qualifiers was Zoy in four. One and one ninety-nine for him. Well clear of Wang from China. Wang with 105.48 this morning, but that looked pretty easy. Well, the battle for bronze, Sydney in 106.00, and guess what? Song in three from the People's Republic of China, 106.00. I think Rezoi will be well clear of his other competitors, but let's watch out for silver and bronze shared between three other competitors, not much between them at all. So that final will be with you in a few moments. I can see the competitors are all itching to get out of the canopy area where they're shaded. They're just placing the backstroke flags that span the width of this pool out of the way. which one. signified five metres from the end of the pool. So we're just doing some configuration here, but we'll, we'll bring in the racing Ladies very soon. Uh, yeah, this one drew off at uh, 14 minutes past the hour, and we're spot on, according to our clock. And just ticking are. over. Yes. 14. Well, lane six there, Sydney. He's one man that wants a medal this evening. It's really, really tight. First man up, Mortensen. For Denmark, he goes in one. In lane number one, representing Denmark, Niels at Corvitz and Mortensen. 106 99, great qualification two, time for him. It got him an outside Russia. lane, though, which is unusual because it's quick. Well, there's Denis Tarasov of the Russian Federation, 106 32. We'll see how tight this is as we go across the line. Song from the People's Republic of China in lane three. Charles Rezoy, the favourite by some margin for France. He's in four. Zhejo Wang of China in five. In lane number seven, there's Mikhail Sidin. The Russian Federation. Suri goes in seven in for Hungary. Bailon Galindo goes in lane number eight to complete the lineup for Spain. And there is Peter Leek's world record. A huge 60.45, no man has ever broken the minute before. And Charles Rezoy, well, uh, uh, was it easy at 61.99? I'm not sure. Can he get the world record? I'm not sure. But all eyes on for gold. Well, it wasn't that easy, I don't think. 61.1 is his European record. So he's got maybe a little bit more in the tank. Final of the men's 100 butterfly, S. Eight. Charles Rosoy from France, the Paralympic champion. He is going to be the favourite for this one by a long margin. He's really made this event his own over the last couple of years. Interesting that most of the leading contenders in this one are one-armed swimmers. Apart from the man you can see there in lane number two, Denis Tarasov. He's a lower limb disability. Again, the classes are mixed in terms of disability types, but they are in the classification because of the function that they have. So, Charles Rizoy, first to the turn, point one ahead of Song and Tarasov in third position. Rizoy, Song, Tarasov, nothing between these competitors at all. Rezoi will need to dig deep. Rezoi in lane number four. It's going to be so tight because look at lanes number two and number three. Lane number two, Tarasov coming through so very strong. But can he recover quickly enough into the final touch? It goes to Song. He couldn't get his arms over quickly enough. The goal goes to People's Republic of China. Song in lane number three took it. One minute, zero, zero, point six, zero, 15 one hundredths of a second away from the world record. Wow. 
Well, what a race that one was. Absolutely fantastic there. I thought Tarasov may well have had it in the closing stages. And Charles Rozoy, the Paralympic champion, well, he was right there the whole way through. He led at halfway, but he could not shake off the Chinese swimmer, Song Maodong. Coming in there, almost together. Charles Rozoy just with a slight lead. And Tarasov there, you think? The one-armed guys in the middle, they are going to pull away from Tarasov. But the Russian swimmer, he was strong there. And at this stage, coming into the last five metres, I thought, well, Tarasov has got the strength to pull through here. But Song Maodong from China, he was better on the finish, diving for that finish. And he dived in ahead of Denis Tarasov, who set a new European record for second position with Rizoy a stroke further back, taking the bronze for the Frenchman. Yes, we can see the butterfly technique there, where arms recover fairly high over the water surface and the hands can fly too high. The secret is to keep the fingertips very close to the water surface. And Song right there with that powerful single arm, really swimming like a, a, a front crawl swimmer would demonstrate the, the technique. So that stole the goal, but perhaps we shouldn't use that word because he's a deserving world champion just outside of the world record. But with that technique that he demonstrated and that powerful single arm, it was a great goal.